morning and welcome to my English 100 online course. This course engages student interaction with the use of discussion forums. I have opened up one of the discussion forums to demonstrate this to you today. Take a look at the weekly posts in the discussion forum list. You'll see every week I have this set up um, with multiple threads within each week. Um, let's look at the check-in thread. Again, this builds a sense of community because there's student-to-student -student interaction as well as instructor-to-student -student interaction that takes place every week and almost daily. Um, this thread is used for attendance purposes. Students are required to check in every Monday with me. The result is a sense of community and bonding as we prepare for each week's objectives. The result for me as an instructor is that I have a greater retention in class when I, uh, when I do this. Uh, for example, this semester I have about 15 students remaining out of the original 20 registered. Um, um, this enhances the collaborative learning community. The next thread I'd like to demonstrate and show you is the discussion question thread. Every week they have to respond to a reading and also respond to each other. Um, this encourages collaborative learning because they have to respond to each other. And this is clearly defined in the syllabus. They earn a point uh, for this. They have to uh, respond to the question and to each other. And this enhances their critical thinking skills. And um, two more here. Questions thread is great because they ask me questions here. A lot of times they have the same question or they help each other and answer the question before I get to it. So this enhances this collaborative learning environment. And the last one is the weekly assignments thread, which I post reminders about what is due and what's coming up, as well as I'm able to um, help them stay on task, turn in assignments on time, and explain them in a more detailed and organized way. course is structured with multiple technological tools that enhance and encourage communication with the goal of community building. The first example I'd like to highlight are the peer reviews that, folders that I have set up here. Students submit their work of their draft of each essay to the peer review for peer, um, peer feedback and peer group learning. So for example, this is the first one, um, instructions on how they submit their paper and then I have attached a peer review sheet for them that are instructions that clearly guide them and their feedback so that it's not just abstract. Um, the guidelines for this activity are also clearly given on the syllabus as well as in the discussion forums each week. The result is that it engages and challenges students um, to give feedback on each other's writing and it allows them um, a different way to approach the assignment because they understand each other better and it encourages this group learning and um, they get different feedback than the feedback I give them so it really encourages the way that they're learning. The second, um, the second part I'd like to demonstrate is through the assignments tab and every week students are given feedback on, here's essay one, on um, some of their graded papers and you'll see in this example, student is given the rubric breakdown here, but also in their draft, they were given a, quite a long narrative as well. Um, um, so uh, throughout every multiple step of the assignments, they're given this feedback. Um, and you'll see here, um, this is set up, for example, essay three. You'll see this again. Um, I'll just use the same student. Um, you'll see that he has um, an attached comments in this instead. So it enhances their learning that way and feedback. number of tabs to, uh, and learning materials to facilitate the course content and the learning. In the course, um, the learning modules are um, a major way that students um, connect the assignments to um, and my lectures to their, uh, their assignments. Um, okay, if you look at this one, this is the, the last one, Argument and Reasoning. Um, there's all kinds of um, ancillaries and um, there's a video here for them to watch 
as well as some of my lecture materials and then what each one does is it is it moves right along into their um, their assignment and so in this one there's a worksheet and then right into their assignment and the requirements very clear of uh, what is required of them for example for this position paper and the breakdown of the multi-step process back to the student learning outcomes the second um, way learning happens is through Pearson Writer which is a another tab here um, they cut and paste their writing into this and it picks up the mistakes and they can fix them and cut and paste these mistakes uh, or fix the mistakes and cut and paste the correct version back into their papers so it's an instant way for them to proofread and check for sentence length redundancy voice appropriate language and word choice here and then there's also a way for them to cite their sources, find sources. Um, there's a large writer's guide here which um, helps them with their writing and all kinds of links for them to access to help them with their writing outcomes. outcomes for the course are clearly defined in the course syllabus and assignments are clearly defined in the course schedule. So here you'll see my syllabus and a clear explanation of the um, student learning outcomes including using multiple step writing process, writing compositions that are clear and composing complex and well-reasoned text that incorporates source material appropriately. Um, all the assignments and all the requirements for the course are clearly defined and then I also have in from the course the, um, the schedule and the schedule breaks down every assignment and time that students need to post it and then this information is um, put right into the assignments tab and all these dates correspond to that so it's really a clear-cut organized way um, for students to understand how they're being assessed and when they're being assessed. So if we look here um, in the assignments um, in the assignments tab, you'll see all the assignments are clearly defined with clear due dates. Um, and then in the announcements folder, I also go and tell them, you know, when things are due um, um, and so forth. So they have a, a clear way to know when those assessments are coming up as well. Um, and of course that's auto-generated to their email so, um, so they re remember that. Um, they're also assessed in a minor way through tests and quizzes um, where they are, are uh, there's some grammar quizzes here. They're worth um, a small 10% of the course um, but they are a um, low stress way for them to learn their grammar and there's an essay exam here for the final. Um, students can take these quizzes as many times as they want for the highest grade um, and that really helps them and encourages them to do really well with that. Um, and that is my breakdown of my assignments. and learner support begins in week one um, when I'm posting discussion requirements, how to su succeed in class, a welcome message, and also the La Luma student guide. Um, the student guide is a link to the user guide and many students need to learn how to do this and how to navigate La Luma to be successful in their online class. And um, discussion requirements are here as well as um, how to succeed in class which is fantastic because all online classes are self-directed and in order to be a, to be a self-directed successful learner they need to know um, these guidelines and to follow them and the second um, way I support students is I have links to the support services in my resources tab and I'd like to show you just a few um, the first one is a newer tool called my leeward 
and it explains the tool to them directly links to our leeward page and you'll see um, the breakdown and the step-by-step -step guide and contact information down here to help them with this tool and then um, the other one is a sport for DE students and in this one they also have another link again to the student guide of, for La Lima support all the I learn at Leeward on the left hand side as well as um, distance learner uh, resources at the bottom here too and then finally the writing center which is really important uh, resource for students to support them through their learning. I highly encourage them to go to get feedback from tutors and to improve their writing when they need to. Thank you very much for looking at my course today and I um, thank you for your consideration. Mahalo.